Sages, let's go ahead and see what's going on. Okay. Well, way too many cards. Sagittarius. Also, if you want a personal, check out the information listed in the description, okay? All right, Sagittarius, we got the Two of Cups the two of pinnacles and the eight of swords in reverse so it seems like you and a love interest here are not seeing eye to eye all right when it comes to you and your perspective on the connection and their perspective their feelings and your feelings there could be a disconnect where either you feel like in your communication of how you feel or what you desire for the relationship maybe you feel like this love interest is not hearing you uh you could even expect certain things from this person maybe you're dating someone and not really in a relationship quite yet and it seems like maybe they're non-committal or you guys just want separate things um also this could even be not understanding each other's love language in some ways so needing to get more of an understanding of each other's needs and seeing things from each other's perspective is necessary but beyond that there's this falling out also some of you could be falling out with a friend um or like somebody who you may have had a close relationship with this could be a family member this could be somebody who you just don't really agree with in the next couple of weeks and it could also be if not agreeance it could just be a topsy-turvy relationship where you guys are constantly having this um this relationship of we're good one moment and then we're bad another but uh nonetheless in the near future you could be debating on what to do with that relationship that may fall apart or may have already fallen apart uh i also see sagittarius for you when it comes to your mental health, I do see improvement in terms of you not worrying about things that you can't control. These are things outside of you, like um, life. So many components of life we don't have control over. The only thing we do have control over is our response and our actions in connection to those things that happen to us. So interesting. Let's keep going. Our cards fallen. We have the Page of Cups, the Nine of Cups. Okay, so mm, you guys may have an opportunity to turn down a player who may have tried to use you for the fact that you were just so openly receptive and whatnot and was just dealing with you with no intention of of really taking it further, they may be trying to come back around in the near future. And you may have the satisfaction of being able to turn the situation down, okay? And some of you guys will actually do that, okay? Because this person, you could know that this person is very self-serving or they only really care about their feelings and not really yours. I also see here, for my Sagittarius who are looking at opportunities to make money creatively or even just advancing in your career, there could be better opportunities on the way to you. So Spirit is saying, don't think small, think big and make sure that you guys are putting yourself out there so that these opportunities can be attracted to you. So if you're looking for a job, keep putting those applications out, keep putting yourself in position to attract these or that opportunity that could put you in the standing that you want to be in with the Nine of Cups. Yeah, someone's trying to act like they're emotionally uninterested, but they really do want you. They're, they're trying to play this, I don't want to say hard to get. For some of you, that is very much the case if they're trying to act very non-committal. But for others of you, it's more so like pride, um, I don't want to let you know that I don't want to let you go type energy. Like, it, it, it's interesting. I also see in the near future, you have unfinished business with uh, someone here. Or there's unfinished business around... I'm hearing a conversation... Hmm. 
You could also be, okay, so some of you guys need to be careful. There were certain experiences that you guys have went through that were lessons. And if you've been noticing some reoccurring situations in your life or you may still have that very thing that's a lesson in your life, um, Spirit, is, this is like a forewarning that some sort of cycle here is going to continue to be a thing until you learn the lesson. And a lot of you know what this lesson is, but like you do need to be weary of doing things that keep you stuck in a repetitive cycle here. Hmm. I see also some of you guys have like certain desires for certain outcomes and spirit wants you to stop focusing on that. A lot of you have been too focused on the outcomes of things or the outcome of, of certain endeavors that you take action on. And if you're not careful, this could push you further away from the success that you're looking for. Spirit wants you to just be in the joy of doing and the results will align. Okay. So the card we have here, we have Firefly says, follow the guiding light. So Spirit wants you to follow your intuition Okay, this is making sure that your decisions are also being led by you being connected to spirit. Sorry, I got cards falling everywhere. Yeah, we have the high priestess intend and create. So with the high priest or not high priestess, but high priest, this is also being in the know. A lot of you or not a lot of you, most of you watching this video, you're already in the know prior to even clicking on this video. You knew everything you needed to know, but this is more so a confirmation for some of you. So take it as you may. But spirit is also making sure you need to be clear or is telling you to be clear on your intentions, especially when it comes to the things that you put out into the atmosphere. So if you're a creative, what is the message you want to put out there? Hmm. We also have Earth Mother. Feel loved and comforted. Mm, some of you guys need to reconnect with nature. Especially if you have been just caught up in the, the mundane aspect of life where you've gotten, you know, beside your routines. Hmm. Spirit is also saying nurturing the body. Some of you guys would really benefit from some sort of fast or more of a raw diet. It's interesting. But these are just some of the things that I see in terms of the, the energy for you guys. I hope that this was helpful. If you did find it helpful, definitely thumbs up the video and subscribe. If you want a personal, that information is always listed in the description. Make sure you guys sign up for my email list so that you can get notified whenever I go live on YouTube or when I'm doing different sales for my website. But I do appreciate each and every one of you and the support. And I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye, Sagittarius.